As part of year eight scheme of work, and obviously considering the WOW lessons, I thought it would be very useful for the students to have a different experience, uh, in particular of how um, short stories are read, um, how they're actually written. Um, therefore, I decided to have a closer look at The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, um, quite a dark and gothic short story. Um, and the idea behind it was that uh, pupils are exposed to immersive learning to the extent. Um, so I've created an environment where pupils are only um, using one of the senses, which was the uh, listening, listening to the actual story. So uh, you can see a little bit in the picture, uh, all of the tables and desks uh, have been put away. And in the middle of the classroom was just a bleeding heart, um, almost like, like as a hook to the lesson um, to engage the students and actually um, for them to wonder how the bleeding heart um, links to the story. Uh, so the pupils just, uh, as they walked in, uh, were listening to quite um, dark and eerie music. Um, so just a little bit of like an idea behind it. Um, Okay, um, I actually haven't told them that they're going to be part of this lesson and what they will do. So it's almost like for them to be even more intrigued by the minute, what is happening, what, um, what am I um, doing, doing in this lesson. Um, after they have settled in, uh, they sat in, in the circle and um, I decided to um, start playing the dramatic reading of the Edgar Allan Poe um, um, story. Um, after the reading, I have then um, asked them to recreate um, their own reading, the dramatic reading of the story. Um, and as in groups, they were given parts of the story and they were asked to produce a truly terrifying retelling of it. Um, we were focusing more on like what sort of sounds they can make. Ah. Additionally, um, I've asked them to consider how the pace of the reading can influence um, the retelling. Um, so whether they have spoken very quickly, very loudly, very quietly. Um, also, uh, the tone of the voice. Um, and I've also asked them to do a little bit of drama behind it. Um, so maybe some of them um, decided to uh, portray uh, parts of the story um, just with facial expressions, what the main character or the protagonist might be feeling. Um, so um, they came up with some absolutely brilliant ideas um, and you can see here they're very engaged in the lesson, quite eager to actually um, engage with the bleeding heart. Um, what I liked mostly about it is that it was a class project. Um, it built on their, um, almost in their relationships as well, um, that they're not only working in groups, um, because obviously they're quite brilliant at working in groups, but it's quite nice when they have something else to bring them together, uh, when all 30 of them need to work on the same project and bring this to life. Um, so yeah, this was my wow lesson.